guys this is developer dude and in the previous video we have written code for c for the header css we have written css and str code for the header but in this video we are going to write and design a slider in this video we will write css code and html code for this slider we didn't use any javascript in it this is just a css and STL, html combination so let's get started Now, create a section here and give it a class name set1 in this create a container container class name and in this container create a slider div with class name slider okay. now in this create a div with name image box okay now in this image box create another div with class name slider okay now in this slide add images we will add here four images so i will give you the link in the description so these are the four photos images so just copy and paste okay just control c control v v and v now just change the source so i will change it so I have copied and pasted the links here. Let's check it in our HTML page. Just control save and refresh. So here is the image, the four images. Okay. Now we will design it. So let's write CSS code. Dot set one position relative width 100% and height 1190 pixels so firstly mm, I want to tell you something that this site is not responsive so this is if you mm, it's, this is not a responsive site so if you resize it the design will mass up totally messed up slide in this targeting images width 1360 pixel and uh, height 100% okay now dot container position relative and width 100% height auto Okay, hide right, auto now. Control save it. Let's check this out. Okay, so here it is. Now, design the slider with 100% overflow hidden and uh, Position related height 560 pixels. Now targeting image box display flex and the position absolute animation name is browser 15 second alternate in front okay control save let's check this out <coughs> control r i refreshed it okay so here it is nothing is showing up here just a simple thing so now we will add here an animation okay now right at the rate sorry for this keyframes identifier name browser <coughs> okay now at the 0% left 0 at the 10% left 0 sorry 0 and 20% okay at 24% this should be left minus 1360 pixels okay and at 
42% left minus 13 60 pixel. <coughs> Sorry, this is my mistake. Okay, now at 46% left elk minus 13 60 into 2 pixels. Okay, now control now just control C paste it here and just change the percentage 62% control V again change it to the 66% and here change it to 3 control V again change it to 82% and here 3 pixels control V again change it to 86% and here 4 Control V, change two hundred percent, and Control four. Control save. Let's check this out. Okay. Yep. So it's working here. Okay. So here we have designed this section. This one section. This is empty. Why it is empty? That's, we have to change some animation code. So let's just delete this last one. Please. Okay. Now change it to the 24, 42, 850, and uh, 54. This is to be 80. And 84. 100% control C. Now check this out. So it's completed, and in the next video, we will create the section over this crossover, this slider. This will be very challenging creating a section, a full section on a slider without knowing that from where the slider is ending and the right code so you will get to learn that how you do this this is so you know this the image is ending and the section but in this one wait for this one this one and you will never get to know that from where the image is ending and where the section is starting so in the next video we will write a uh, very nice code so Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Goodbye.